Namaste Yogi and Yoginis. This is Sumedha and Indian Yoga Girl. Today we will do Hatha Yoga followed by Pranayama. Pranayama is the practice of breath control in yoga. In modern yoga is exercise. It consists of synchronizing the breath with the movements between the asanas. Alright, without talking much, let's get settled down. Let's get comfortable in the seated position. If you want, you can have a, a bolster or something or a block to sit by into a Vajrasana, which is onto the knees, if you could able to. If it is a little tough, you always have an option to bring the left heel close to the perineum, the right heel on top of it into this yoga comfortable seating position here. Beautiful. Let's roll the shoulders back and down and close your eyes. Let's settle down here and taking a deep breath in and out. Focusing just on the breath, nothing else. Eyes are softly closed. Try to bring the spine as straight as possible. Shoulders are back, rolled and down. Inhale and exhale. When you are taking an inhale, think that your energies are moving from down to up, which is from the tailbone to up. And when you are taking an exhale, it's coming from crown of the head to the neck, to the upper back, to the middle back, lower back and to the tailbone. The hands are in chin mudra, which is an index finger and the thumb finger touching each other. The other three fingers are straight. And take a deep breath in and out. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Inhale longer and deeper and exhale. Inhale, expand your stomach, expand your chest, expand your shoulders. Hold the breath and exhale. Bring the shoulders down, the chest down, the stomach squeezed in. Inhale up. And exhale down. We are doing three more deeper inhalation and exhalation here. Bring your hand to a Namaskara Mudra, a prayer position, Anjali Mudra. Folded hands which is close to our chest but not touching towards the chest. All the fingers are deeply connected to the other fingers in order for the tapping to happen inside the bodies. Taking a deep breath in. We are chanting Omkara all together, taking a deep breath in here. So that universal sound of this mantra within you. And from there, slowly open your eyes. Namaste. Let's come in a standing position here, bringing your legs straight, coming in front of your mat. 
Inhale, raising both of the arms up towards the ceiling. Interlocking your fingers and raising your heels up. Inhale, raise your heels up. Exhale, bring the interlocked fingers onto the head and bring the heels down. Here we are involving a coordination in a breath. Let's do it together five times. Inhale, raise your interlocked fingers up, lift up. You are standing onto your toes here, lifting the spine a little bit more up, squeezing your stomach and exhale. Bringing the hands on top of the head. Inhale the second time. Inhale, rise up, lift up. And exhale, lift the heels down. Inhale, lift up, raise up your heels. It helps in Achilles tendons, helps in the runners as well. And exhale, slowly bringing the hands down. Fourth time, taking an inhale, raise your arms up, lift up. You are onto your toes. And exhale. Last time, taking a deep inhale, raising your arms up, lifting up your chest. And then exhale. From there, we are twisting the spine. I'm coming a little forward to give you a little bit. We are twisting our spine, bringing both of our arms up towards the, towards the parallel here. And we are moving towards your right side, bringing the left hand onto the shoulders and sending the right arm back and going back. Exhale. Inhale, come forward as a T-shape. Exhale, bringing the right arm onto the left and go back. We are just working on the spinal movements here for the, our pranayama sessions as well to go. So just try to invocate these energies of the spinal movements by twisting your body, going more back. Inhale, come in the neutral. Exhale, bringing the hands, the right hand onto the left shoulder and going back. Inhale, come neutral. Exhale, slowly. Inhale, come forward. Exhale towards the sides and slowly come back. From there, we are taking an inhale, bringing the hands up and exhale, slowly bringing the same hands down. The foot, the feet are the hip distance apart. We are coming down. Once we come down here, we are coming towards the right hand side. We are coming, having uh, both of the hands to the right hand side and slowly come up, lift up and change towards the left, open up your shoulders and then dropping your hands down. You will notice that there is a little rotation into your stomach and to your hips by coming down, then opening it from here itself and then coming towards the sides, slowly coming up, lifting up, exhale and slowly coming towards the left and coming down and exhale. Let's do that two times clockwise here, opening up your, from your sides, lifting up, slowly coming up. We are doing a very small, slow movements here, coming towards the left and then slowly coming towards the sides. Exhale, inhale, open up from here, open up, open up, open up, open up from the sides, lift up and exhale, slowly come towards the left side and slowly bring to the forward fold here with the interlocked hands and this time exhale anti-clockwise bring your head towards the left and slowly coming up and change exhale come down inhale come up if this is little bit much, you can always hold it to the hands onto the waist and then come down. We are bringing the spine to a rotation movements for three, last count. Bringing the hands down. And one. Beautiful. Awesome. Let's work onto the knees. We are bending our knees here 
holding your hands onto this knees and opening your legs and exhale clockwise movements one beautiful two this is very good to bring a lot of fluidity in this patella movements in this uh, knee joints here three four five we are doing anti-clockwise five times one two three beautiful good baller four and five bring both of the legs together we are still bending down this time we are rotating rotating the spine rotating the knees for one for two for three four and five anti-clockwise one two three four and five slowly come back up exhale open this legs a little bit more open the arms again inhale towards the right side and exhale slowly come bring the right hand up left hand down you're opening the shoulders here by bringing the shoulders a little bit more back and coming a little bit more down you're feeling the stretch from the skin to the bone from the tip of your hands to the side of the lug handles and going down to the sides open up open up more and come a little bit more down try to have inner arches of your foot down do not open your inner arches of your foot stay here for five exhale here for four look up for three exhale here come deeper down for two and one exhale slowly very 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 slowly coming up feel the energy is going down by bringing the hands in a very slow motion beautiful feel the fingertips as if the blood flow is going down onto the fingertips as well inhale raise your other hand very slowly up 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 rise up as if somebody is lifting your hands raising up as if you're going to touch the fingertips onto the sky and then slowly exhale towards the sides here beautiful open up your chest look up Stay over there for five, for four, for three, for two, and exhale one. Beautiful. From there, bringing your left hand outside your right ankle. You have an option to bend the left leg here and open up. Twist your spine. Go back. Once you find that you could able to straighten up both legs which is great if not you always have an option to bend the left leg but just twist the body twist the body back look back a beautiful stretch from the sides stay over there for five four three two and one slowly change bringing the left hand up and right hand down the right hand is outside your left you have an option to bend the right knee inhale look up the left hand is up twist you have an option to straighten up both of the legs hands look up for five for four for three for two and exhale one the left right hand is still the same the left hand you are holding it look forward halfway in the same holding up your ankles look halfway and exhale slowly come down <sighs> stay ho over there by holding both of the ankles from the opposite arms lifting your hip bones more up your sitting bones more up coming up more deeper down for five exhale for four for three for two and one bringing your hands onto the waist slowly come halfway slowly come halfway 
and then bring both of the hands towards the side, towards up. Make sure your hands are more close towards your ears. We are this in the tabletop. We have a flat back. You have always an option to bring the hands back if you want to. But here we are doing the motions where the, your shoulder are kind of different kind of stretching and you are holding your navel little bit more to have a little bit more deeper. Holding here, stay over there for five, for four, for three, beautiful for two and for one. Inhale, slowly come up. We are doing a baby back bend here. This is the first back bend. Be mindful in this. Hands are still the same. And slowly sending your pelvic a little bit more forward, your stomach more forward. Open up your chest, go back, look back, lean back, stay back, hold back, stay for five, for four, for three, for two, and exhale for one, bring the hands down. Close your eyes, close your eyes. And just relax your shoulders, catch up on your breath before we will do one round of Surya Namaskara. Taking a deep inhalation and exhalation. Coming in a Namaskara Mudra prayer position with hands and the feet more closer. Inhale, raising both of the arms up towards the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale, bringing the hands down. Inhale, look halfway up. Exhale, send right leg back. Stay over there. Look forward. And then from there, sending your left leg back to a high plank here. We are in this high plank. You always have an option to bend your knees if you want to if not you can have a high plank stay in this high plank and then slowly bring the knees chest and chin down lifting up your hips more up stay over there inhale slowly scoop up your chest lift up exhale to adho mukeshwadasana Downward facing dog, down dog, or some people call it as Parvatasana as well. Few of the yoga theories, this is mountain pose as well. And exhale. Inhale, bring your right leg again in between both of your hands. Look forward, open up your chest, stay over there. We are opening our groin muscles from here. So just try to expand this leg, leg more back. Feel that leg. Stay, look forward. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Bring the back of your leg forward and slowly bring your forehead touching towards your shin bones. Exhale. Inhale, raise both of the arms up towards the ceiling. Give a little baby back bend. Open up here and slowly exhale, bringing the hands down to the mat. Inhale halfway up. Exhale, left leg back. And slowly right leg back. Look forward in a plank, knees, chest and chin down, lift up your pelvic, beautiful Anita, stay over there in a Bhujandasana here and slowly inhale, come up, scoop up your chest, come to a Bhujandasana which is a Cobra pose, exhale. Slowly come to downward facing dog. Exhale over there. Squeeze your stomach inside. Lift your tailbone a little bit more up. Your hip bones rather more up. Try to bring your heels more down. Stretch your 
hands or your shoulders a little bit more back. Think that your chest is coming more deeper down, touching towards your inner thigh. And slowly exhale. Bring your left leg this time in between both of your hands. Look forward halfway in the same position. Stretch your right leg as back as possible. And from there, sending this right leg, meeting the left leg. Exhale. Inhale, both of the arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bring the hands down. Beautiful. From there, we are doing a Garudasana. Bringing the right leg, finding the right leg. Putting the right leg on top of the left leg. We have an option to bind the hands with the left hand down. If not, we have an option to hold your, uh, hold your shoulders and then lift your elbows and come a little bit more deeper down. However you would like to do, just we will be here in the standing position, focusing on one point, finding a balance for three, for two, for one. And slowly come back up. Beautiful. Unwrap your arms and exhale. Finding the left leg. Put the left leg on top of the right leg. Wrap your legs. Bring the navel forward. That is the main thing. The navel should not go left or right. Finding that energy is as balanced. Then the leg should wrap and then bring the arms. Inhale. Stretch it over there. Sending the elbows more back, staying over there. You can come a little bit more deeper down for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come back and exhale. Bringing the knees, the right knee up, staying over there. You have an option to hold, you can hold it. If you can able to stabilize, which is also fine. And send this leg forward straight. We are making it straight and bending it. We are making it straight and bending it. Let's do that five times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, three, inhale, exhale, four, inhale, good job, and exhale, bring the leg down, change, inhale, raise the left leg, left leg up with the bent knees, and then exhale, and then inhale, raise up, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two, three, come back, four, inhale, and exhale, inhale, five, exhale, and bring the legs down. From there, inhale, raise both of the arms up towards the ceiling, open up your arms, and twist your body towards the right side with the same. Just try not to lift the legs up. The legs are still the same. It is just the spine which are going back, back, back. Stay over there for five. Strong onto your legs, your inner legs here. For four, move the shoulders more back. For three, two. And slowly with the grace come back. Inhale, raise the arms and change towards the left, towards the left. You are working on the inner legs here and the spine movements, both and the shoulders. Stay for five, for four, three, two, and slowly come back and exhale. From there, lie down onto your stomach. Lie down onto the stomach here. Very slowly. Bring both of the legs 
together. Bring the chin down. Interlock your hands from the back. We are doing a Sarpasana, a snake pose, which is also great to wiggle up your spine, which helps in the prana energy. Bringing the toes and the heels together, you are interlocking your fingers from the back and you are lifting, raising your hands up, your legs up, your chest up. We are not doing an exerted movement. We are doing a sukshma, which is a slow, a subtle movement here. Stay over there for five, for four, for three, for two, and exhale, slowly come back down. Exhale here. Let's do one more time. Try to bring your toes and the heels together. Send your legs even more straight, one inches longer, interlocking your fingers, taking a deep breath in and slowly come up, sending the arms back, look up, stay over there for five, for four, for three, for two and one, exhale. Bring your hands towards the sides and bring the cheeks to any one of the side and completely relax here. Exhale. Slowly turn towards your back. Turn towards your back here. Bringing your right knee close towards your chest. Hold your shin bones and hug deeper and tighter here. Take a deep inhale and exhale. This is a beautiful blow pose for the constipation, for the bloating, for the indigestion. Just try to bring your uh, inner thighs more close towards your chest and stay over there. And from there, hold your left, from the left hand, your knees and bring your knees towards the left side. You're opening your shoulders, twisting your spine, taking your other hand as a T-shape a longer. Try to bring your shoulders down. Try to bring your knees touching towards the mat or the ground or the planet. And exhale here. You're trying to twist your spine as much as you could able to. Slowly come back and bring the knees down. Change, bring the other leg, hold your shin bones, try to massage your lower stomach by bringing your knees a little bit more close towards your stomach. Hug it tight, 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 tight. Stay over there, exhale over there. And from there, hold your, from the right hand, your left knees and twist your spine. Look towards your left. Try not to lift your shoulders. Slowly come back. Bring the legs down. Come in a shavasana. Taking a deep breath in and out. 
just observing your breath here. Try to push your middle back a little bit more down to reduce the arch of the back. Relaxing your complete body here. the right hand side move or shift your body weight towards the right hand side and from there slowly come up sit in any comfortable position sit in any comfortable position if you can take a lotus pose which is the right leg on top of the left thigh and left leg onto the right thigh we would encourage you to take the lotus pose if not then we can have the half lotus or maybe you can elevate with the blocks or something however you feel like just sit in that comfortable position the hands are in chin mudra which is the index finger and the beautiful thumb finger touching each other raising your spine opening up your shoulders here eyes are closed we are just right now again taking an inhalation and exhalation observing the breath the focus is in between your eyebrows yeah anahata chakra gyana chakra rather where the light is coming feel that that there is an orange light which is in between and which is sparkling like a sun the sun rays within you focusing on just a deep inhalation and exhalation pranayama breath of fire as well so it is like we are having an ujjayi energy a fire energy within us so it's like we are not doing that we are closing our mouth and we are doing we can do it slowly then medium pace and then the fast pace three rounds we are doing it first time for the 10 counts and let's start with the slower version the hands are still in this prapti mudra beautiful let's increase that pace from the 10 to 20 with a little bit higher in the flap of the stomach take a deep inhale to do 60 the actual pranayama starts with the 60 120 and then moves to 200 we will increase our capacity slowly right now we'll just focus on this flapping 60 times and we'll feel how it is how it goes take a deep inhale you can have the hand on the stomach as well if you want to the chest is not moving it's just the stomach which is flapping inhale
inhale and exhale. Just feeling that sensations within you. Feeling that numbness within you. Bringing your hands, your thumb inside and slowly making a fist out of it. We are taking an inhale, bringing your hands up. When you are taking an exhale, you are leaving that hand down like this. When you are taking an inhale and exhale. Let's do that 40 times. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, twelve inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, few more counts, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, you guys are doing great, inhale, exhale, so hum, so hum, so hum, so hum, so hum, so hum, so so hum, so hum, so hum. Bring the same fist and slowly come. close your eyes. Feel those sensations, those vibrations. within you. You are your creator. You are the Brahma. You are divine. You have energy and all the possible energies. We are having a silent mind and the silent body here for complete one minute. It's the hardest asana. Don't think the future, the past, the present. Just focus on the breath, the life force. Shudhi Pranayama and alternate nostril breathing. Closing your right nostril with the right thumb. We are having a Vishnu Mudra which is an index finger and the middle finger down and the other two fingers are up. Closing your right nostril. Taking a deep inhale which is a five counts of inhalation through the left nostril. Close both of the nostrils. Stay for five breaths. A retention of the breath. Exhale through the right. 
for five counts. Inhale through the right for five breaths. Close. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Close. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Close. Exhale through the left. This time we are increasing the flow of seven counts. Inhale through the seven counts from the left. Hold it for the seven breaths. Exhale through the seven breaths out from the right. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold. We are holding after the exhalation here. Now. And then inhale seven counts. Hold seven breaths. Exhale seven breaths out from the right. Hold seven breaths, which is kind of a little high. And then inhale for seven breaths from the right. Hold. Exhale, seven. Hold, retention of the breath for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold. Rechaka. Retention. Let the prana be churned in that body for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. Hold. And exhale through the left. Bring the hands again back. Eyes are closed. Catching up on your breath. Focusing on just the breath. Bandha, a lock from the Jalandhar Bandha and the Mool Bandha. Your hands are touching towards your, uh, uh, I would say the thighs, lifting your hands a little bit and your chest up, pushing your hands, squeezing and lifting your uh, Mula Bandha from the inside, your perineum muscles in inhale, taking a deep inhale, bringing your Bandha from inside and lock it. And then exhale, chin towards the chest. Here you have done the Uddiyana Bandha as well. Both of the Bandhas are locked. 
your staying here how much you could able to just don't put your hundred percent at least seventy percent and if you find a breathlessness just come back and let's come inhale we are doing five times pushing your hands making your hands straight lifting your perineum a little bit up making a long taking an inhale and exhale squeezing your navel inside staying over there for five four three two and exhale one let's do that three times more inhale and exhale Taking an exhale, chin towards the chest, locking both of the bandhas, making your stomach touching towards your back. And exhale here. Let's come back. Let's do this final time. Pushing your hands. Inhale. And exhale. vibrating towards your skull here. We are closing your eyes. You can either close the eyes and close close your ears or else you can just bring the, the index finger and put onto the flaps and taking a deep inhale and just chant Makara here. So doing a pranayama here in this cat and a cow stretch. You are lifting your chin up, chest up, stretching, taking a deep inhale. And exhale slowly chin towards the chest. And you're flapping your stomach in and out. You're churning your stomach here. So the stomach is up and down, up and down. When you are taking an exhale here, feel as if there is a rotation moving into your stomach. Good. 
Inhale up, chin up, chest up. Exhale, slowly bring your chin towards your chest and slowly flat your stomach. Up, back, up, back. Inhale up. We have some of the Kriyas as Nali Dhati. So this is a little smaller practice to achieve that Kriya, Vaman Dhati. And then the churning of the stomach, exhale. You may not able to have much from the start in the starting, but once you practice, you could able to feel up and down, up and down of your stomach. Inhale up, chin up, chest up, and slowly exhale, chin towards your chest. Squeeze your navel first, and then flap. Inhale up, chin up, chest up, and exhale slowly. Last time, churn of the stomach. And from there, slowly sit down into a child pose here, bringing your hands back. Your hands are back, you're holding your wrist here you're holding your wrist and slowly come down these are some of the points holding of a wrist is your touching from your thumb the the veins which directly helps you to relax these are few of the acupuncture points here Try to be relaxed here in this. Staying over there. Try to surrender. Surrender everything. hands up again interlock your fingers as you just woken up stretch your body stretch your spine lift up and exhale bring your hands towards your chest in a prayer position and let's repeat after me a mantra for the light. Asatova Satkamaya Asatova Satkamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Kamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Kamaya Mrityorma Gamaya Rityorma Amrutam Gamaya Om Shanti Shanti Shanti
शांति ओ शांति 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 May there will be a peace within you and outside you. May this light gives you lots of love, dignity, power, self-appreciation, lots of love in your life. From there, rub your hands, generate a nice heat. Place them onto your eyes. And with a few blinks, slowly open up. Look at the palms, giving a positive energy to yourself, a healing part to yourself, a self-appreciation and gratitude towards yourself. From there, I'm going down. The light in me honors, sees the light in each and every one of you. Thank you so much for sharing your energies with me.